everybody in the grand community today. Today is Monday, in the tenth day of June, twenty twenty four. My name is Mr. A B. I've just come to make a very short response to the voice note to the right of rather made by Jamal Konam Itailiaza, aka Adminelis. A write up surfaced today where he claimed that uh, Apostle Ken is crying and begging. How dare you? Peter Eliezer, how dare you make such derogatory statement against Apostle Professor Ken Wakem of UAAG? How dare you make that comment? How dare you write that evil write up? I think it's high time you shut your mouth up. Before now, it has been Ostas who has been writing that kind of evil write up against Apostle Ken. Now he has passed the ball to you to be writing rubbish. It's high time you take this advice and keep quiet and allow this disbursement to take place. Let the disbursement take place and then you will know who is who. I have always said it that. Now let me say it again. That evil can never reign or rule over the good. And for you to have your way, that means UAAG is not God's project. But as long as I know, UAAG is God's project. And nothing can stop God from having his way and fulfilling all that he has planned to do for the children of God in Nigerian Grant Ecosystem. Therefore, I advise you to keep quiet and allow this disbursement to take place in peace. Admin Ellis, stay away from Apostle Ken. Apostle Professor Ken is not your mate. And therefore, stay away from him. He's not your age mate. He's not your mate in any way. Go about and do your psychophancy. Because a psychophant and a slave has no room in the house. Because he's always at the gate, manning the gate. And I want you to know that that is your work. Therefore, stay away from Apostle Ken. Who told you that the, your slave masters will trust you by what you write and what you say? Who told you that? They can never trust you because you have never stand, you have never been to a place where you stand. You have never stood in a place to declare your your stand permanently. You have never done that. You have always gone to a place and uh, stand for a while and uh, in a short while you leave that place. Because your demand have always been very bogus. And when that person decides not to give you according to your wish and demand, you will leave for another person. That is why you are insulting Apostle Ken today. Because Apostle Ken could not give you that which you desired. That is the same way you have been running errand for Reverend Y. Achuku. In those days, but at a point when Y. Achuku could not meet up to your to the demands, 
you left him and started castigating him. I think you're a man. Why not be a man? Why are you being unstable? Why have you chosen to be a psychophant? Why? Why? Why are you doing all, all what you are doing? I've only come to tell you to be very to be very careful. I keep quiet. Masses. Grand community. I've only come to advise us to be instant and wait because our time to rejoice has come. As long as God lives in his heavenly throne, our time has come. Shortly from now, we will begin to hear the good news and it will gladden your heart. Do not allow the write-up from Adminelis to discourage you. Do not allow any other write-up or any other unwarranted voice note to discourage you. UAAG is on course. UAAG is about to do that which God has destined UAAG to do. If this blessing should come from any other source, it would have come from the man where every one of us spent our money, where we paid for every cluster, where NGOs used, paid heavily to register themselves with the organization. I'm talking about Teobat Global Foundation. NGOs paid money to register themselves with the organization and then paid for all the clusters they submitted. And some people submitted up to 1,000 clusters. Some submitted up to 500. Some submitted up to 2,000 clusters and more and paid for them all. But it is not like that in UAAG. If it would have been possible for Tioba to disperse this money, it would have been done. It would have been done long ago. But because it is a destiny that must be fulfilled by the right person. That is why all this noise, all this uh, discouraging voice notes and all these discouraging write-ups and all these evil, evil attitudes, betrayers, is going, has been going on all this while. Therefore, I advise everyone to be quiet because the time has come. Let us be quiet and allow God to finish what he started. As you do, may God bless you and grant you your heart desire. In Jesus' name, amen. Good night and have a beautiful night rest. Have a beautiful dreams as you wake up shortly to meet your blessing. God bless you.